Okay. Hello, my name is Brian Coward. I'm the EDM product line manager for Makino. And today we're going to talk about uh, HyperConnect. So first, let's talk about uh, some of the hyper technologies that Makino has. We have a group of technologies that we call our hyper technologies. Uh, the first one is the hyper eye control. Uh, the unique thing with this control is that it's a universal control for both our sinker and wire EDM machines. So it makes the learning curve very easy for an operator to go from a sinker to a wire. Uh, next would be our hyperdrive tension control system. Uh, this is our newer tensioning system that is controlled by an AC motor. And this provides greater tension, tension precision and also uh, provides a wider range of tensions. So this helps with corner accuracies, straightness, things like that. Next would be our Hyperdrive Extreme Guide System. Uh, this is the system that is on our higher end machines. Our Hyperdrive Extreme uh, system has uh, an enhanced round guide that improves the AWT or the automatic wire thread capability of the machine. And that also includes jetless threading. But for this presentation, we're gonna focus on what we call HyperConnect. And HyperConnect is our remote monitoring software that's available for both the sinker and the wire machine. Okay, so what does that do for me? So there are four types of functions that HyperConnect provides for us. Uh, first is a, is a basic email alert. So uh, I can set up the machine to send me an email when something, uh, I get a warning or an alarm or something to that effect, or the machine comes to a stop status, it can send me an email. I can set that up based on what I want the machine to email me. So maybe there's some events that I don't really want an email. Maybe I just want to have it email me when it stops and I can do that. So it provides the flexibility for how I want to utilize that. Next would be the machine control viewing. So I can view the control of the machine remotely. Um, to check on the status of the machine, see how the burn's going, uh, maybe change some, some, some parameters. We don't let you change everything, but you can make some changes. So I can do that remotely uh, from a PC or a smart device. Uh, next is machine to machine viewing. So this is a, a unique feature. Since we do have the HyperEye control, which is the same on a sinker and the wire, we could be at one machine and maybe the wire machine is on the other side of the shop, but I'm in front of the sinker at the time. I want to check on the status of that machine. I can pull that wire control up on the sinker machine and check the status of the wire machine. So it provides me a lot of flexibility to operate multiple machines uh, with fewer people. And then finally, I can actually view my desktop or laptop from the machine. So I can access my PC remotely at the machine control. You could access anything on your PC that you would want to access. Most common would be maybe a, a, a CAD CAM programming system I wanna access while I'm at the machine. So to just go into a little more detail of each one of these, so we have our email alerts. This is what the screen looks like here. Um, and I'm gonna receive updates on machine status and alarms with this. And as you can see, I can set up multiple um, <clears throat> email addresses in here. I could put one, I could put as many as I wanted. So anytime something happens, whatever that email address is, it's gonna send me an e email alert on it. I can have it give me a periodic report, which means every so often based on the time that I could set up, it's gonna send me out an email just to let me know what's going on in the machine. Most people don't use that. They're gonna use an event type of an email, which means I can tell it to you know, send me an email at the stop, stop or reset, stop uh, by alarm warning, or I could do all alarm, alarm warnings, wire breaks. You can see all those check boxes. I can check them, uncheck them, and that's gonna dictate when I'm gonna get an email. So very flexible. I can use this the way that I want to. Next is the machine control viewing, which is the most common function for HyperConnect. A uh, customer generally wants to be able to look at their machine remotely, especially in EDM. EDM is a slow process. So a lot of times you're gonna set this machine up and you don't have to be in front of it 
while it's running, but you still want to keep an eye on it and check out what's going on. So that's the most common function of HyperConnect is for our machine control viewing. And you can see here, this is the theory behind it. I can be sitting at my uh, PC at my desk and I can access this control remotely. Um, it's not just for PCs. I could have my smartphone, my iPad, anything like that, and I can access it remotely and actually see that control on that smart device. Next is machine to machine viewing. So I can access other machines from a single interface. So I could be sitting here at this Sinker EDM machine, get my job set up, but I can access not just one, I can access multiple machines. So however many machines I have, as long as they all have the HyperConnect software, I can access all of them from one machine. So this allows me to be setting this machine up, but I can also keep an eye on these wire machines as they're running in case anything goes wrong, lets me know I, I can go over there and address that machine. And then lastly is the desktop or laptop PC viewing. So from the machine, again, it could be either one because they both have hyper eye control. It could be from the wire or from the sinker and I can access my PC remotely. I can get things like documentation if I use setup sheets uh, in the shop and I need to see that documentation before I start the job. I could access that remotely from the machine. I can also access my CAD CAM software, which is probably the most common. You know, I may want to check a dimension on something before I start the job. I can access the CAD CAM that way and I don't have to walk back into the office to get onto the PC. So it saves me a lot of time, makes me much more productive. So that's the quick presentation on the HyperConnect software. Now we're going to go out to the shop and we're going to show you how this works. Okay, so we're going to go through the first portion of HyperConnect where I'm going to connect from my PC here in my office out to the machine to view a machine that's running. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to VNC Viewer put in the password, and now we're looking at the EDNC6 that's out on our showroom floor that you can see the, the machine is running. So we can see the process meter, the effective pulse, and see all the movement of the machine, look at the orbit or any other features I need to. I can also, if I wanted to, if I want to go in and do a program and project in our programming system, I can finish a, a program here, send it out to the machine at this point. So many different features. So once we're done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and show you then to connect from a machine to a machine to view a machine from our, our running machine, the EDNC6, to one of the wire machines. So now we're out at the EDNC6 sinker. So right now I'm running a program. So we're gonna do a machine to machine connection. I'm gonna look at a wire machine that's 80 foot across the shop to see the progress on the machine. So I'm gonna use HyperConnect now to connect to a machine. So I'm going to go in and set up VNC Viewer to connect, put in the IP address, put in the password, and then we automatically now have connected to the wire machine, and I can view the active program of the wire machine. So you can see the cursor on the screen, machine's cutting, it's got my stop time, so I know at 128 my wire machine's going to be done cutting. So uh, with HyperConnect, you can do a machine-to-machine -machine connection. So now that we've done a machine to machine connection, next one I want to show you is connecting from a machine to your PC or your desktop computer. So right now uh, I'm going to connect into my PC in my office and get on EDCAM and finish a program to send to the sinker. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to VNC server with my IP address. And then now I'm connected to my PC. So I have EDCAM 2021, which is my programming software that we sell for the Sinker, an offline programming software. Now I can get in and finish a program, simulate my program. So just like I were sitting at my PC, I could do everything here at the machine. So watching the simulation run on my job. Everything looks good, and I can post out a program here. I'll put my program, and then send it to the control. 
So now I've showed you all three different ways to connect. We can connect machine to machine, machine to PC, or PC to machine. So three different ways to connect to the machines via HyperConnect. If you have any questions, we're gonna go back into the EC center. Uh, down in the right hand corner, you'll see the chat function. Uh, if you need to chat, go to that section and we can answer questions about HyperConnect or any of the Mikino EDM product line. Thank you.